In this video we're going to be adding integers, which is positive and negative whole numbers. When adding integers there's two rules to remember. When looking at the numbers you either have same signs and you're going to be finding the sum or you have different signs and you're going to be finding the difference. And from what we know already about sum and difference, when you have the sum or finding the sum you're adding and when you're finding the difference you're subtracting. When you have same signs and you're finding the sum that means that your signs are either both positive okay so a positive plus a positive which is nothing new to you. You've, all, you've been adding positive numbers forever but when you have a negative plus a negative well that's the same idea, same signs, they're both negative numbers. So let's take a look at some examples. If we have same signs, let's say we have negative 3 plus negative 4. Now both of these numbers are negative numbers, so we say they have the same signs, so we're going to be finding the sum. So I'm going to ignore the signs right now and just say 3 plus 4 is 7. Now my answer is not 7 because when I'm all done with this I need to think about this and say that I'm adding a negative amount plus another negative amount. Okay, a negative 3 plus a negative 4 that's a chunk of negatives plus another chunk of negatives that means that my answer has to be a negative 7. Now different signs is where it gets a little confusing. Different signs, we're finding the difference, so we're going to be subtracting. But we have to pay attention to something called the absolute value. And that's a number's distance from zero on a number line in order to get the right value on our answer. So an example might be negative 4 plus 10. Now negative 4 is obviously a negative number and then positive 10 is positive so we have different signs. What we need to do then is different signs difference. So I'm going to actually subtract these two numbers and it doesn't matter that I'm going to start with the largest number here which is 10 and subtract 4 and that gives me 6. Now in order to get my answer I need to pay attention to which number either the 4 or the 10 has a larger absolute value or the farthest away from 0 on a number line and in this case 10 is farther away from 0 on a number line so that means my answer is going to be positive 6. Let's take a look at another example. Let's say that I have negative 30 plus 12. Again we have different signs negative 30, positive 12. So different signs, difference, I'm going to subtract, which means that I'm going to take my 30 because it's bigger and subtract 12 from that. 30 minus 12 would be 18. And then here's where it gets a little different from the first problem is that now I'm looking at which number is farther away from 0. And in this case, negative 30 is farther away from 0 on a number line. It's just in the negative direction. That means that my answer has to take the sign of that number. And so I get a negative 18. So if you can remember the rules, same sign, sum, different signs, difference, you should be able to add positive and negative numbers with no issue.